Language is very important. Uh, it is uh, a property of the human species and we identify um, our roles and our personality with the language we speak and with the words that define our role in society. Um, language has a dual nature. It is part of our, our biological endowment. Uh, so we, for example, we acquire language very early and without instruction, we acquire all the languages of our uh, environment uh, in such a natural way. Uh, but then uh, society reflects a lot about language and on language, so we often put a social value on how we speak and what we say. And the social value is also related, is also differentiated between men and women. For example, men and women are taught and are expected uh, to speak in different ways and uh, express themselves uh, with uh, different contents as well as different forms. Um, as I said, this dual nature uh, is uh, in, in both sides of the dual nature, we don't have an objective reflection. Uh, we often have feelings, and so we attribute uh, correctness and value uh, to um, uh, properties, to things that um, actually uh, are unrelated to such values. Uh, I give you an example. So, for example, uh, Romance languages such as French, Spanish and Italian have um, developed from Latin, have lost, uh, all of them have lost uh, the neuter uh, gender uh, and have maintained two formal genders, masculine and feminine, that are attributed even to things. But the fact that all the names of uh, objects, abstract and concrete, uh, have either a masculine or a feminine gender doesn't mean that masculine and feminine never have the semantic value of masculine and feminine. In fact, when we talk about men and women, boys and girls, children of both sexes, we 90% or maybe even more use uh, the uh, grammatical gender that is identical to the social gender of the referent. So I would never uh, use uh, a masculine noun for, uh, for bambino in Italian uh, if, uh, if it is a, a girl, okay? Um, this is a property of the Italian language. If we have a feminine referent, we decline in the feminine uh, the, um, the noun that defines this referent. Well, we have a problem uh, in all Italian, Spanish and uh, French, but especially in Italian, we, have a resist we are experiencing a resistance in declining into feminine. And I'm not saying that the masculine is the root and then we add a feminine uh, suffix. In reality, we have a root which has either masculine or feminine ending. So uh, from the point of view of the system, masculine and feminine for many, many nouns are just uh, um, equal. They are on the same level. Um, in Italy, we are experiencing uh, a social phenomenon that attributes what is called unmarked masculine gender to upper uh, roles, to roles uh, that are uh, um, important in society, such as uh, minister, mayor, uh, even uh, very simple words like secretary. Uh, if it is, uh, if we want to mean the secretary of a trade union, for example, there are women who have this important role who prefer to be called with the masculine. I think this is the worst damage we make to our uh, collective uh, social discourse because when we speak, we create uh, an ontology. And if the ontology of the secretary of a trade union 
uh, is, has masculine gender, even if it is formal masculine gender, uh, this means that the woman there is in the role of a man. I'm not saying that this is uh, rationalized. And because it's not rationalized, and it's not rationalized because we have acquired the masculine feminine declension in an unreflected way, huh? so we cannot really reflect on this, uh, we create masculine as the uh, gender of power. We know that this has been so uh, in many, many centuries before, na before now. Uh, for example, lawyers, mm, advocati, uh, at the moment are more women than men, but the simple noun, avvocata, which is uh, even present in Latin, it's present in one, um, uh, in one uh, prayer, and uh, it can, it's absolutely euphonous. Uh, it sounds very well. It, it has no problem with respect to the system. Uh, it's not used by many, many lawyers because uh, it is felt uh, as uh, a lesson um, of a, as, as a noun, as, as a term of a lesson value. Uh, I think this will uh, take us to a change in the language system. And I always say this because um, um, there are languages that divide noun classes in um, semantic groups. So there is a Bantu language, for example, that puts together uh, women, fire, and other dangerous things. Uh, and I think, uh, in a sense, Italian is becoming such a, such a language because we are having a very small uh, group of nouns, uh, which actually is even uh, enlarging, that uh, cannot decline in the feminine uh, if the noun uh, is related with... Uh, Social, with upper high social uh, worth.